Let's learn how to work with uh, JavaScript and HTML. And what we want to do is we want to dynamically change colors on our HTML page. We're going to work, work with an HTML tag, an SVG tag, which allows us to work with scalable vector graphics. And that actually allows us to draw things on our web page. We can draw circles and lines and rectangles and we can control the attributes for those objects that we're drawing on our SVG. So let's go ahead and create a brand new project. And we'll do a .NET application and we'll call this one Colors Are Us and click OK. And we'll go ahead and leave that empty and create our brand new project. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is go add an HTML web page to it. So we'll right mouse click, add, choose HTML page, and we'll just call that index. And I'll close that other page and we can leave the meta on there, but I usually take it off on these videos to try to clean things up. So the first thing we want to be able to do then is generate a scalable vector graphic. So let's go ahead and create an SVG tag for the scalable vector graphic. But what we want to also specify is we want to specify the height of that painting area. We'll say that it's 100. And we also want to specify the width, 100. So we've now reserved a painting area of 100 by 100. Now that we have that 100 by 100, we can draw something on that form. So let's go ahead and draw a circle. I just pasted a tag in there, but it says draw a circle. And we're going to put, put that coordinate, the x coordinate, at 50 and the y coordinate at 50 inside of our SVG drawing area. We'll set the radius of the circle to be 40 and the stroke or the pen stroke of the circle black and the width of that stroke to be 3, the fill red, and then I gave it an ID of circle. Let's just go ahead and run that and see what happens and see how it looks. So you can see how the attributes for that circle tag affect the image on the screen. So we should see that we created this painting area 100 by 100. So we have 100 by 100, and then we put a circle on there with the center of it at 50, 50 and a radius of 40 with the pen stroke of black, the width of 3, and the fill of red. So that's quite exciting, isn't it? So what can we do with that to have more fun? Well, let's go ahead and let's add um, some breaks to spread out some of our tags. And let's add a select. And we'll give it a name of choose colors and in that select we want some options and the first option we want to go ahead and specify that the value for that option is going to be green and we'll just say that the letter or the text that we see for that option is green and let's go ahead and do the same thing we'll have value equals red and we'll say red there and we'll do one more we'll say an option with the value equal to blue and we'll see the word blue show up in that box and then let's go ahead and add a couple more breaks and we'll add an input button with the value of change colors and we'll give it an on click event handler of change circle no let's call it change fill we'll call that JavaScript function now we need to go write the JavaScript function we could put it in a separate file for the sake of making this easy we're just going to go ahead and write a script right here in our head section and we'll write our function I think we called it 
let's just make sure change fill so function change fill and we want to go and get the the element of that circle document dot get element by ID and what did we call our circle we said that the ID is the circle was called CIR and then we actually want to change the style and the fill of that circle to be equal to whatever color we get from that list so we could say document dot get element by ID and the name of that list is called choose colors I'm going to go ahead and drop this to the next line so you can see it on one screen choose colors and then we want to get the value out of that list so let's just see what happens if we run this do we see the circle show up and it's initially in red with the black stroke and everything and there's the green. Green is selected. Choose change colors. Change it to green. Change it to red. And we'll change it to blue. And so what happens is by us using that SVG HTML tag, we can define a paint area. And then we can actually start drawing on that area. And then through our JavaScript, we can start changing code. In fact, let's do something else. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and add an input, and we'll say the type equals text. We'll give it an ID of circle width, and we'll go ahead and add a label on top of that also. Let's add a label and specify who the label is for. It's for circle width. Enter the drawing pen width. And then we can come back up to our JavaScript. And we can say, let's go get the circle again. And once again, we get the circle by actually calling that circle tag. And let's see, there's our style dot. And we have a width there. And let's go ahead and sign it. The document dot get element by ID and we called that text box circle width and we'll pull the value out of that. Let's just run this see what happens now. So we come back over to here we see our circle show up and here's our change color but let's go ahead and change the pen width to be 10 and see what happens. Now it looks like the color changed fine, but what is the width actually doing? Let's make sure no errors. So for some reason, when we said the circle width is 10, what is style width we're really working with? And it looks like even though we see that it's stroke dash width in our HTML, if we actually look at it in JavaScript, we tried that stroke dash width and it didn't work. But if we came back here and let uh, Visual Studio try to help us, and we look at stroke, we see that there's no dash inside of it. So if we just say stroke width equals, and we get the value from that text box, now we can go ahead and run that. And change the color to be green. Let's put 10 and see what happens. Now we see the stroke width go to 10, and the uh, color of the circle dynamically changed to green. And that's a way that you can use a select box, a text box, a button, JavaScript, and our SVG to declare the painting area 
and then whatever we want to paint on that painting area and then dynamically change it. 